My mic sound nice, check one. My mic sound nice, check two. <laughs> My mic sound nice, check three. We, we are ready. ready. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> we are ready. Well, we had the pleasure of having delicate Clint Jenkins. Uh, we all know that he's a um, very busy man, so we're not going to hold him long, but we're going to have him for 15 minutes, and we're going to get some good information from Mr. Clinton and let him explain what he do, what he's trying to do, and what he has done for the city of Suffolk. So, Mr. Jenkins, introduce yourself to the ones that don't know you. Good afternoon, everyone out there. I'm thankful for this opportunity that Wait a Gam Minute has provided for me. And I'm surrounded by some wonderful <laughs> hosts here, uh, Miss Go Getter and Sheeta um, Sheeta Rock. Sheeta Rock without the <laughs> yeah. K. What I yeah, say? Yeah. Sheeta Rock. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Clint, we had a good time at pre show. It was funny. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm excited about this opportunity. One thing I must say is that uh, Wait a Gam Minute is the only broadcasting. Uh, organization that's coming live out of Suffolk. So we appreciate you all keeping the citizens informed. Okay. Thank yeah, you. yeah, we, we, we definitely need that. But uh, in 2019, I was elected to the General Assembly uh, at, in the 76th District for the House of Delegates. Uh, the 76th District consists of Suffolk and a small portion of Chesapeake. Um, one of the things that I do is represent uh, this area. Uh, in the General Assembly when it comes to making policies uh, um, and voting on bills that impact um, the constituents in, in my district. Okay. okay. <clears throat> so you say you um, come up with policies. So what are some of the policies that you had on your agenda when you first was elected that you have actually accomplished thus far? The first thing that I did when I was elected and went to the before the General Assembly was submitted a budget amendment mm -hmm. to make sure that uh, everyone, everyone that's on Medicaid was mm -hmm. included in dental and eye care. Okay, good. Uh, okay. That was the first thing that I did when the, uh, I went to the General mm -hmm. Assembly. Uh, the second thing that I did was carried legislation to help small businesses. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that was very timely because the COVID uh, came in right behind that. Yeah. Yeah. So, so um, the governor was real nice to me, and mm -hmm. he expanded that by over $175 million to help small businesses in Virginia. Oh, uh, okay. yeah. Those so are, we can come to you to uh, help us with, with the PPP zone? Does it play a part? No. Oh, uh, <laughs> wait a damn minute. Okay. I was like, what, what you mean? Can you explain? <laughs> well, I, I, I like the way you're thinking. Though. I definitely like the way you're thinking. No, but uh, the, the state has funds set aside okay. to help small businesses mm. to, um, stay in business during the midst of the pandemic. Uh, mm -hmm. to help them with uh, um, rent, keeping the doors open, paying employees. Okay. Uh, you, can, you can get these loans from the, from the, uh, the state. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. How do you but I think we ran out of, wait, oh. wait, no, we no, just, you we did. just, add, yeah. we, you just, just add. we just added a whole lot more money to that. Come on, that yeah, clear. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, and the amazing thing about it is, is that funding, mm -hmm. uh, the governor has continued to, to expand that. So, so that's good. So how can they apply for right, that? That's what um, yes. you, 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 you go online to the state website, okay. Okay. and uh, um, the, the process is clearly outlined. The application process mm -hmm. um, is, is clearly outlined. And if you okay. need some assistance from there, um, they have a, a, a hotline that you can call, and okay. someone can, can assist you. Okay, so what are some of the other um, policies that you have uh, completed or got approved or 
Well, uh, here, right now, the hot issue right now mm -hmm. has been uh, uh, criminal um, uh, criminal justice reform. Okay. okay. That's, that's that good. has been a, a hot topic right mm -hmm. now. And uh, one a piece of legislation that I carried was the uh, the magistrate. It was the uh, magistrate's mm -hmm. bill, uh, which uh, simply what that did was if a youth offender mm -hmm. uh, went before the magistrate right. or an intake officer for an offense. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, the intake officer, based on the seriousness of the offense, mm -hmm. could decide instead of uh, incarcerating um, that, that juvenile offender, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that they can give that juvenile offender community service or, or some, some alternative other than incarceration. Okay. And is that based on their age or the crime or? Juvenile. 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 Right. Under 18. So any juvenile under 18, no matter whether they're 16 under 18 or 15 that, under 18? That is correct. Then does the crime matter? Uh, it is up to the intake officer based okay. on the, um, the record of the youth, their okay. performance in school or in the community, okay. their behavior, okay. their grades. All of so that is taken, everything is taken into consideration. Okay. And they will decide whether or not, if, if, here's, a, here's a kid that just made a mistake and punched somebody in the eye. Okay. Right. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, so I guess that's a bad. That's a bad example, ain't it? <laughs> no, that's a good one. That's a good one, though. Well, here's a kid that made a that, that made a mistake and got into a little altercation or something mm -hmm. happened, and the intake officer may decide, you know what, uh, this this youth has been doing good, well be behaving, and has a good support system. Mm -hmm. Instead of us sending that juvenile through the court system and giving mm -hmm. them a record, let's put them on some community service. So let me piggyback okay. from saying all of that. Um, do you are you working in the policies for the youth, like places to hang out? Cause they took that skate ring away from years ago. I used to love to go there. Right, and see that's the difference. Right. The difference is is uh, the question that you just asked mm -hmm. is a local issue. Okay, for okay. Suffolk City Council. You do more I'll state. do more state. Gotcha. Now, see? okay. One of the things that I I, I, I try to do in my capacity mm -hmm. is to assist the localities. Uh, with uh, funding, tr uh, finding funding, or okay. or some means of creating those types of program, uh, even if it's, it's a business out there, uh, getting a business to invest in some type of program, I do reach right. out and do that. But initially, what you're talking about actually falls on the locality right. versus oh, okay. the state. See, I just learned something. Right. See, I, yeah. mm -hmm. I, I, yeah, I begin to confuse. That but would we be, do try that'd to be like more like with the mayor and the council. Exactly. Got exactly. you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So you do stuff for the state that mm -hmm. will cover everyone in the state, okay. but particularly in your district, mm -hmm. which is Suffolk and pieces of Chesapeake. Mm, that's correct. Gotcha. That is correct. So therefore, you would have anything. To, what about the new laws, um, like with the weed passing here and then what? We call it weed passing. Well, you know the, <laughs> you know the marijuana. <laughs> you knew it. Know Wait again, a minute, Clay. Don't come up here messing with no girl. What you mad with your hands? Chad, don't come from a girl. You knew exactly what she meant. You knew exactly. Well, you real intelligent. Now, what you doing with the weed? Um, right. Yeah. So the I, weed. I just, I just playing. Did right? you have anything to do with? Did you have anything to do with that bill? What about the new bills? Like, um, I think it's one that you guys passed also that you can't smoke. In the car or smoke around someone under the age of fifteen. The, the, the marijuana bill. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah, the marijuana bill. And I'm gonna say that I'm gonna use the term marijuana if that's okay. okay if yeah, you, no, you can use a proper term, term. Um, Clint. Um, then you be being funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. I didn't inhale. See. <laughs> <laughs> We don't need that. Wait a damn minute. Not yet, but go ahead. <laughs> you going to them. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, uh, the, the, the marijuana legislation did pass. Um, the governor signed off on okay. that. Mm -hmm. and, and what that does is uh, um, quantities under an ounce are now a civil penalty of mm -hmm. uh, $25. It's just like, okay. just like a traffic ticket. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, um, now, um, there are there are certain stipulations about um, you shouldn't smoke in school. Um, the regular right. there, there is a health advisory council that's made up of public experts mm -hmm. and advisories and regulations, and and educational programs that would help guide the process of this here. Mm -hmm. But but um, if if a police officer is not supposed to stop you because of the smell of marijuana in the person's vehicle, it's got to be something okay. else. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. And, and why then? I hope they're not inhaling. Okay. Okay. That's right. <laughs> right. Right. But but um, the penalties for usage 
uh, will be will be increased but remain a civil penalty under 20 for twenty five dollars. OK, okay. Uh, adults 21 may not possess more than an ounce in public. Yeah. How much is an ounce? How much? I, I is that enough for? Is that the? I this is when you print the top paper. Is that an ounce or what? You know, Clay. That's what I, I figured out. Well, go ahead. <laughs> but here's some good things about that bill, though. The okay. legislation marijuana. Forty percent of the mar marijuana revenue uh, will use will be used for tax re revenue for mm -hmm. uh, pre-K programs um, for at-risk youth three to four years old. Okay. Okay. Thirty uh, percent. Uh, up will be reinvested uh, uh, back into a cannabis equality uh, and reinvestment uh, fund. 25% okay. of that will be for local revenue, and 5% of that will be for, uh, of that revenue is for uh, public health. Okay. So it's going to be regulated just like alcohol. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, just like uh, alcohol is regulated, marijuana is going to be regulated. Uh, um, right. You know, to to help get more control. So it won't be mm -hmm. people just be overdoing there it and go. just rolling there up and there holding all the pounds go. of it and there all this stuff. There you go. There you go. There you go. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can't have walk around with a pound right. in your hand. However, the legislation mm -hmm. does say that uh, uh, you can't have a, 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 a maximum of three. Um, plants in your in your home. Oh, I can I can grow it too. Stop this. Wait Stop. a gamut. <laughs> Stop. Wait a gamut. Now I don't know how I don't have time to do that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. So, so my thing is, even with that, and with the new bill in reference to the smoke and all that, it seemed like they say, okay, you can do one thing, but they still coming up with something else to be able back. to stop you for some reason. No, we can't stop you for the smell if we smell marijuana. Oh, wait, look like that kid could be under the age of 15. Let's stop you for that. So wouldn't they still be able to say anything to you if you were supposed to be smoking, but you're actually smoking marijuana and not cigarettes? Well, when you, when you talk about a, a youth under the age of 18, uh, the law does say 21, mm -hmm. and it is regulated just like alcohol. Same okay. rules. You know, a kid, a, a person under 21 can't mm -hmm. go in the store and buy beer. And right. Like, can't drink and right. drive. Can't right. drink and drive. Right. Can't smoke it. Exactly. Right. exactly. Right. Like it's in the passion side. Oh, I can't do it either, right? Because you can't drink in the car. Yeah. Can't oh, have open container in the car. Okay. Yes, so you can't okay. have a can't have a. Uh, uh, um, can't be on the side. Can't have one in your finger while you're okay. rolling. <laughs> okay. I got you. I got so, you, Mr. Clinton. So now, let's move on from that. So right now, you're running again, right? It's mm -hmm. time for re-election. Mm -hmm. Quick question for you. Mm -hmm. So why when someone runs, you see them, but then after they're elected, you don't really see or hear anything from them? You know, that's a fair question. Yes, it, it is. is. I've always had had that question, mm -hmm. and I still have that question. I don't understand it. Uh, the different circumstances, different conditions for, for different uh, elected officials. But I will say, for the House of Delegates, mm -hmm. it's a part-time position. It's not okay. a full-time like a lot of your legislators out here. Okay. It's part-time. And what okay. I mean, it is during the early, early part of your January, sometimes February, mm -hmm. sometimes special session, we go up and represent you in different policies and, mm -hmm. and legislation and different votes. Mm -hmm. Other than that, we're back in our district um, trying to respond to any issues or concerns that you might have oh, okay. in addition to trying to uh, um, uh, work out our primary job. That's so y'all behind the scene working? Yes, right. always. Always behind the scene working. And I will say, the, the House of Delegates, the salary, is only $17,000. So that's why you got to have a real okay. job. So yeah, you have oh, another job. Okay. Okay. There you go. So oh, you're okay. really only up there, you said January, February, mm -hmm. and... Sometimes March. a special session when the governor mm -hmm. calls us in. And that's it for the whole year? Th that's it for the whole year. Other times, we sit down going through legislation, writing laws, reviewing stuff, trying to prepare for the next session. Mm -hmm. yeah. But y'all should show oh, y'all face a little more tenable. Yeah. But but in all fairness, uh, mm -hmm. in all fairness, uh, again we up there doing that time. But as far as back here, um, I am available. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm available. Okay. Persons uh, um, um, see me. I'm out in the community. Uh, again, mm -hmm. between Suffolk and Chesapeake, uh, I do everything that I can to make myself visible. And mm -hmm. the, for me, the easiest pe way to meet the maximum mm -hmm. uh, a, a mo uh, amount of people is when civic leagues and organizations invite me to their, mm -hmm. uh, uh, to their meetings and stuff, then I, I'll definitely show up. Well, let okay. me say this. Mm -hmm. That 15 minutes was quick. Was it? Yes. Yeah, but listen, give me five more minutes. Listen, okay, so it's up to you because you don't want, you know, you, you're a very busy man and your manager over yeah. there looking yeah. and everything. <laughs> yeah, he, he putting his fingers up and stuff. So I'm, I, I'm just saying, it's a pleasure having you to take out 
time for your busy schedule and like come here and sit down with Witty Game Minute podcast. Uh, we all ask all our guests for some advice mm-hmm. for Witty Game Minute that you can leave us with. Well, um, the, the advice that I will leave you all is continue to do what you're doing. Okay. Um, it is your work mm-hmm. that mm-hmm. makes uh, your elected officials and your businesses holds them accountable because you all are the eyes and ears Mm -hmm. uh, in the voice of the people out there. So you all uh, tell the story, get the message out there, tell people what's going on. Don't sugarcoat it, tell it just like it is. Okay. Okay. And by doing that, people are aware and alert. Mm -hmm. Uh, Right now there's a lot of uh, uh, um, stuff going on out there that is um, false. A lot of false okay. information right. out there. Okay. And someone has to tell the story and tell it truthfully. Okay. And that's okay. how you make a difference. Thank um, you. Years ago, um, there was Andy Damiami's talk show. There was it Lou Moore's sure talk show. Mm-hmm. Um, there was one that with Donald, Donald Mills had one. He, Donald Mills had the first one in, 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 in Suffolk years ago. And then okay. behind him came uh, those two organizations. And now it's you all okay. to tell the story. People need to know what's going on in this city, mm-hmm. and they know, need to know the facts. Okay, can that actually be okay. truth about something? Mm-hmm. Are you able to go and subscribe to our podcast? Yes, I will. And vote for us? Yes, I okay. will. <laughs> okay, yes, now. I okay, will. Mr. Clint. <laughs> okay, do you have any last words for the <clears throat> citizens here in Suffolk? Information uh, that you might want to share or... Yes, New yes, yes, on. yes. I want to remind persons that uh, there is a primary on June 8th, but okay. persons can go and vote as early as now. Okay. Well, they don't have to wait to June 8th. They can start early voting. That's one of the things that we passed on the General Assembly is early voting. Okay. Uh, you can go vote now for those persons that are on the ballot in, uh, on June 8th. That's the primary. Mm-hmm. And then when my election comes on November the 2nd, mm-hmm. you can start voting as early as September the 18th, which is my birthday as a present All to right me. Now. <laughs> okay. so, so, yeah, please go vote early. Don't wait till the last minute. Okay. No excuses. You don't, don't, um, there is no excuse voting now. Right. You don't have to make up any reason why you can't go to work at you That's right, because you can do yeah. early. Yeah. So give us a quick little second, because I know mm-hmm. your manager is back there sticking up his fingers, but just a quick little snippet to let everyone know, why should we vote for Clint Jenkins well, for House of Delegates another term? The reason why you should vote for me is because, one, the work has just begun and suffered. We're just getting started. Okay. Let me tell you, uh, when you look at the legislation that we passed this year from criminal justice reform, putting money in people's pocket, health uh, care reform, okay. when you look at all these things that we're doing, uh, you need to keep me there so I can continue that work okay. and bringing jobs to Suffolk, mm-hmm. uh, helping people in the midst of the pandemic, okay. um, the vaccine. You need to keep me there to okay. ensure there's equity and equality in okay. Suffolk and that every Everybody's getting fair represent. Right. I don't represent one side of town, but I represent the whole city See, awesome. of Suffolk. And I'm okay. going to give everybody my best. Because if I don't, y'all going to tell the story. Yeah, I'm right. You better know who y'all. <laughs> 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 okay. Thank well, you so much, Mr. Thank Clint. you. We know you have to go. And we're pretty sure a lot of people, a lot of our viewers, they normally, um, you know, ask questions. But since we only had a few minutes, so they, couldn't, they couldn't ask you no questions. But, mm-hmm. you know. Well, so. tell everyone that my office is uh, on Main Street, 438 Main Street, right across in front of the post office. Make my appointment. Okay. My, yeah, my phone number is 757-809-0214, and my uh, email address is Dell D-E-L, Clint, no, I'm sorry, D-E-L-C Jenkins at house.virginia.gov. That's Dell D-E-L-C Jenkins at house.virginia.gov. Call me, email me, um, text me, Good. and I'll get back to you. All right. Okay. okay. Thank right, you guys. Yeah. Hear that, right? Thank you. Thank you all so much. All right. Well, okay. thank you. So we will have to excuse you, um, and then we, hopefully everyone will be able to. Don't don't be funny, Miss Jenkins. Vote for us on the podcast, or we gonna vote for you in June. I'm gonna vote for you. 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 
right. And tell your and mind to do since he keep looking. Yes, right. He gonna vote too. Yes, right. Yeah. We gonna, Thank you. We're gonna vote for you. <laughs> okay. Thank you for coming out with and, us. And, 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 we, and when you decide to, uh, if you play around and uh, accidentally just want to sample mm -hmm. and, uh -huh. and do those three flower pots, okay. call me and I will inspect them. I want you. Okay. I, I'm gonna hold you to that. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, you know, that was good. That it was. was good. That was good. Well, we didn't get to ask a whole lot of questions, but I was, I want to know yes. about that marijuana. Look at that me. weed. Then y'all miss me. Hey, Because hey. <laughs> <laughs> I miss y'all for that make it 15 all minutes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> 15 if y'all ain't missed me, I know you heard me. That 15 <laughs> right, minutes was right. fast. It did go fast. It, it was really fast. Did you enjoy that pain? By the weed. You don't smoke. Do you, what? Oh, 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 I, ain't, I ain't mean to say, do you smoke, but... Are you gonna try it since it's legal in July? I mean, I don't know. I don't think I want. I don't. I don't know. Oh, it, it all depends on how I'm feeling. Oh, okay. In July, oh, okay. It, it goes by my mood. If I want, you know, oh, okay. since it's legal, you know, oh, I didn't try that when it was illegal. It was um, <laughs> illegal. So <laughs> <laughs> you might want to try it while it's legal. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So, but y'all don't feel like that's like a um, a setup. Yeah, that's not really like a, set a setup. Yeah, like it's setting you up for. Well, I think that um, a lot of them other laws that they didn't made that a lot of people don't know about, like they're saying, oh, the uh, marijuana is legal, but then you pass a law that you can, now all of a sudden you can't smoke in your car that you're paying for. Because, right, okay. you know, there's a chance that you could be, they wouldn't know if you're smoking marijuana or if you're smoking cigarettes no more. Right. Or if you're just smoking a cigar. I guess they really wouldn't know. So I guess I kind of understand that. But it's just kind of crazy how. Okay, you treat it like it's alcohol. Sudden, okay, yeah, it's like just kind of crazy how all of a sudden now you have this law. And then the 15, you can't smoke around anyone that's under the age of 15. Like, how are you going to know if that person is 15 or if they're 18? How are you going to know? I just think, right. just do it responsibly. Just do it responsibly. But like, to me, that seems like that's another reason for them to be able to maybe Because it's $25 you. for a second. Yeah, because you don't, you don't know how old kids are these days right. because mm -hmm. we saw a, a young guy in the restaurant yeah. last, last night. night. Yeah, we sure he did. was 15 and he looked uh, every bit of 22. Every really? Bit of, he said he was 15. I said, every oh, you started bit. when you were 15? He said, no, I'm 15 now. I started mm -hmm. when I was 11. 11. At the restaurant. You, mm -hmm. you started when you was 11? Oh, wow. Oh, okay. You know, they start early, though, they, yeah. which is a good thing. They start kind of early. Hold yeah. on. I got to pull up so, this chair. I don't know. I don't know right. about other laws, but I, we needed him a little longer, though. Yeah. Because I had some more stuff I want to ask about. Yeah, we know you had he a lot busy. more questions. I did. I Let's sure go get them. Sure did. It was just not enough time for not you. Not enough time. Mm -hmm. But I think they purposely did that, though. Mm. So what? what's some of the other things you would have wanted to ask him? Um... I want to ask, okay, I want to ask him about that, but then I want to ask him <clears throat> about, you know, his opinion about even the stuff that's going on or that happened in Windsor. Mm -hmm. You know? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What, what happened there? What's his opinion about that? And, mm -hmm. and then with the reform and all of that stuff. He mentioned the criminal reform, but he didn't really get the chance to touch bases touch, on it. You know, anything about it or whatever. But anyway, well, it the sounds ticket. like he got his hands in some, some good things. Oh, we should offer him to buy a ticket. See if you want to buy a ticket to come to the all black black tie fair. Everyone, we are down to just a few more tickets. If you don't have your tickets now, you will be missing it. We gonna be in a ball. <sighs> so what are you saying, Are you saying that they don't have a ticket? Yeah, they if they don't have a ticket, ticket, they won't be going. So they mean don't go and purchase. Don't go get no outfits, y'all. Talking about y'all going to the all black. Y'all know y'all don't have a ticket. <laughs> I, I just, I mean, I have, like, seriously, I have had, heard a lot of people talk about their outfits. And I know they haven't bought a ticket. But I just be like, oh, okay. All right. But you can't get mad, though. Don't get mad at us later on. We well, I know a, a lot of people be hitting me up about tickets. Back and on. Um, and when I asked about them, they haven't bought it yet. Yeah, so I'm me to trying jump. to figure out what. Why ask me about the ticket yeah, if you're Paul. not gonna purchase the ticket? We it, put it out there how much the tickets are. The ticket with the oh, unlimited yeah. alcohol is one hundred and ten dollars. I called you, I know the one with a week seventy five dollars a week. 
So general admission is 75 and with the unlimited alcohol, meaning you, yourself, mm -hmm. just you, Mm -hmm. right. With your wristband, can drink all night. One ten, right. and we're not talking about aristocrat. Yeah, because I wore her to death. Right. And then as soon as as soon as I say, let me show you top chef. The yes. right information. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna um send it to you or her, and mm -hmm. I'm waiting. Damn and a few of my friends keep saying they gotta get their ticket. Uh huh. I'm putting y'all on spot. Yeah, a few of my keep saying they got to get their tickets, but y'all haven't purchased them yet. So. No, wait, wait, you know, they, what they're going to do is wait till they're gone yeah, and, and, and want us to pull a rabbit out of the head. They don't want they us to, <laughs> to do anything because I can't. No, but I think, you know, here, a lot of people wait till the last minute to do stuff, though. That's they shouldn't. Just, that's just they shouldn't. how it is here, but no, that's not going to be happening. So, anyway. Have y'all started looking at y'all outfit or... Yeah, I have to change my outfit about 10 times. I have two in particular and that I want. And I show somebody. I'm going to show y'all tonight. Show okay. Me. Yeah. Show me. I'm sure I did show you. Let's go get them. I'm sure I did. Mm. But I don't know what um, I'm wearing. <laughs> I have this dress in mind, and I just got to get, I'm probably going to have to get that made. Okay. And then I have another one that I might not have to get made. And then I bought one that I'm going to take back because I'm definitely not going to wear that. Yeah, I bought one. It's nice, but it's 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 not for me. It's it's doing nothing for me. Yeah, so I gotta go back to the store. I'm just gonna get one made. Yeah. You just gonna get one made? Yeah, I'm not even gonna try that. Like I wanna buy one. I'm not. I don't think I, I wanna take the chances with getting one made though. I just feel like that's gonna give me a headache. Mm -mm. Going to look for it is gonna give me a headache because it's giving me a headache just talking about it. But anyway, so what else we have going on? Other than everyone need to get their tickets, I'm just kind of excited. And then with the amount of tickets we start off with and where we are now, yeah, it's about to be a sold out. Oh, yeah, and VIP, <laughs> the VIP is, like, completely gone. So there's no more VIP tickets. All, all the tables there's no way you can get a VIP ticket. No, mm -mm, just the unlimited general admission. So did everybody um celebrate Cinco, Cinco de Mayo yesterday? I did. Did you? Yeah, we you? Did you get drunk as a fish? As a blue? I ain't get drunk as a fish. As a way, but I was tipsy. I ain't gonna say drunk. I felt good as a. I I, I, ain't get, I didn't get but one mucho patron margar strawberry margarita. No, I, I saw more I drinks in there in front of you. No, I ain't get there. I, ain't get I saw one. a whole bunch of drinks in front of you, Rob. No, you didn't. Oh, yeah, but yes, I did. But I'm trying to figure out. No. How I Cause I what why? I, I, I mean, I'm just. I'm, I'm, What's wrong with to figure that? that out? You tell me, well, why wouldn't we? Why not? Because we go sitting at a restaurant any other day on a regular day, then yeah. doing a celebration. So why can't we celebrate a Mexican holiday? Just, yeah. So are you Mexican here? No, but I want not Mexican at all. drink. Mexicans don't have to make them better. Not at all. <laughs> and they make them better sure than the do. regular Americans sure around do. here that's just uh, give us a drink that ain't, ain't worth drinking. And I got to send back every time. Yeah. This is yeah. not enough alcohol. Yeah. That part, fine. This is yeah. definitely not enough alcohol. I have never had to send How my drink back in a Mexican restaurant. One. I had a flight, which was five, but then I had people that was, for some reason, which one you go to? Asking to drink my, my Where you flight. Go so, <laughs> Where you go yesterday? We went to La Parella. La, 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 La Parella. Okay, the one I met y'all at. The in one in Not yeah, uh -huh. but the other one okay. in Harborview. Yeah, no, I I ain't need but one. Y'all want to ask that right here in Suffolk? Yeah, keep it close to home. Was it really say, bad? It was. I waited about twenty minutes to get seated, and it was more of us than it was it actually Mexicans, was, won't it? It was more. It was mainly black and Caucasian. Oh, okay. And I ain't see a lot of Mexicans. Okay, so Mexicans again, I seen work there. Again, the, ones, the Mexicans I seen work there. Why do we celebrate Cinco de Mayo? Do y'all have an answer for it? I don't know. Well, what does it mean? Do anybody know that? I don't even know what it means. What does it mean? I don't know. Mexican I holiday. Going there getting drinks or something. I don't know because I really never. I don't know my name. I knew my Mexican name yesterday. I mean, I figured I, me. I figured I go in there for Cinco de Mayo. Yellow. I couldn't Cause do four. Mexican. I couldn't do four twenty. So we know. Why do we celebrate the whole weekend? Huh? You didn't have a drink yesterday. Say that one more time. You didn't have a drink yesterday. Oh yeah, I did. I had my 
my daiquiri. Yeah, of course I get my strawberry daiquiri. I mean, I'm just saying, at this point, we can just start calling y'all out because there's no more sugar coating. Just like Mr. Clint just said, we're going to keep it real. So I need for y'all to keep it real. Y'all well, out. I'm saying, y'all like, we celebrate a whole lot of other holidays, and the question is why we celebrate what, it. What, Cam, did, did, you get a, did you get a margarita yesterday? No, I did not. Okay, so why not? I was working. Oh, uh, well, I had worked all day. I was working here at the studio, and then number two, I walk into the establishment where Pint and uh, Miss Go Getter was. Uh -huh. Pint, like, I said, well, damn, Miss gave you the whole tray. She had about six drinks in her. Oh, oh. so why you had all them drinks? Um, excuse me. <laughs> And why ain't no y'all going Excuse away me? yesterday? Excuse me? Hello, somebody. Excuse me? Why'd you have all them drinks? <laughs> and why ain't no y'all going away? I'm trying to figure out, y'all out celebrating Cinco de Mayo, and I'm here sleep, I'm working. And you left, right? And and did you talk about how you, since we want to keep it real, how, how you committed dog neglect, how your dog drove off in the parking lot? Dog what? <laughs> how the dog drove off and left her in the, in the, in, in, in the restaurant? Oh, yeah. Let's talk about that. Let's, the vehicle ain't moving. The vehicle ain't moving. Let me in the car. The vehicle will go. Y'all lying. If I'm lying, I'm so lying. So what happened? I seen the bird all day. How'd it happen? <laughs> Ask her. What do you mean how it, it happened? He goes to, go to drive school like twice a week. So what you got? A handicap stuff going on in your car? All types of stuff. How you, well, you, you handicap? Well, she almost there herself. So it won't be nothing for the dog to move the car. Tell her. Tell her, Gail. <laughs> well, yeah. While we were celebrating, she was babysitting her child, and, and she wasn't able to join us. And she also got um, Mexican food as takeout last night. So although she wasn't able to join, she still celebrated by eating Mexican dinner last night. Correct? So, so either she way, get, she, she was all. some type of form of supporting the Mexicans last night. What's wrong with supporting the Mexicans? Y'all precious or something oh, towards them? No, not at all. But I, don't, I think I think their question is, if we don't know exactly what the holiday is that we're celebrating, why are we celebrating? But I have did it for a few years now, so I just continue to do it. It's a Mexican holiday. Also, Yeah. So it's like their Fourth of July that we celebrate we that we found out we became independent. But y'all celebrate Juneteenth. You said what? You said what? I'm just trying to figure out. I mean, what did you say? The one the one we was. Well, you said one the one we became independent because we've been celebrating July Fourth. No, it's not. It's so it's June Juneteenth. We've been celebrating July Fourth forever and didn't know. But they celebrate us as well. So you you ain't never known the Mexicans to celebrate us. Mm, they do. I'm just saying. They celebrate oh, us it. and what we do <laughs> to, on our holidays because, you know, Mexicans, um, they have, I think, <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, they have a different Christmas. Right? I don't know, but I don't want to go to the holiday. I don't want to talk about the Mexican holiday. I know that. Oh, okay. But you saying we should, the, the Mexicans should support the Cinco de Mayo. Man, them Mexicans be in there working, so... <laughs> They was they work work. <laughs> they sure do, baby. And they was working last night. They, work. they were working and they was working and rapping and singing their little music. They wasn't was bothering their soul. It was packed. It was packed. It was packed. And somebody actually said something to us yesterday that really made us feel good. We was just sitting Listen. there and we was eating and then all of a sudden the girl was like, Oh, I love y'all podcast. Oh my God. No, yes. And she was like, Oh my god, wait again. Mm -hmm. She's for real. She said, like, I love y'all podcast. But y'all phone it up, Miss Go Get a Pint, because y'all ain't say shit about come join us. But you didn't tell us either, because you But I had to work. So I went on this end. Somebody else called me and invited me. I was but at you, home. But see, but see, you wasn't going to come on our end if you was Straight at work. Straight from work. But Straight I from... kicked a thought bag in my car. Hello, somebody. Yeah, Hello. it's called a thought so bag. Well, what do you consist it, of? It has... <laughs> it has Underclothes, toothbrush, all my lotion. It got my Jimmy Choo in there. Oh, <laughs> Vaseline, <laughs> biking shorts, t shirt. And I keep crops, so I keep it slides. So, what do you change? A cloth oh. and a towel. And do that bag go with you? Like, I do. It's, it's blue and black. So, you don't go home some nights? That's why you keep that? I go that? home, but sometimes I don't go. I don't. I'm, 
I'm I outside all out. week, and I'm in the house on the weekend scene, like, it be backwards. Like, I'm outside, outside. Yeah. You know, you know and I, I don't go home all the time straight from work. So, you know, I have to take, then I work for the Department of Corrections, I take my uniform off. So how long has this been going on with this thought bag? How, how long have you been packing thought bags? Since February. Of this year? Yes. Ron Valentine's Day? That part. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> that part. Walking around with a Yeah, and that's where the thought bag been going. See, mind your business. Mind, mind your business. Wait again, man. If it ain't not going to mind your business. Wait again, man. Mother's Day. Mother's Day. So what y'all doing for Mother's Day? When is Mother's Day? Sunday. Oh. Oh. Excuse me? Sunday. So, first of all, you're a mother and you have a mother. Yeah, but I don't so, know. About, I don't, I don't. So, you get, so that means you ain't, have you bought your mama a gift yet? I no. assume not. You think? But I remember my kids on yesterday. Oh, she's probably out of town, but she's probably be back. Oh, on she's Mother's still expecting to give. She's Ms. still gonna, gonna, yeah. I reminded my girls just that said y'all just just to let y'all yeah. know, Mother's Day is Sunday. So okay, mom. Yeah. What? I actually want a massage. Uh, I want an hour on my feet, thirty minutes on the back, and Ooh. I did tell them I want a hookah bar at home. And that's a real big one. You want a hookah ball? You want the hookah? Well, excuse me. The hooker. Oh. I, I say it wrong. Thanks, go get a get me right, girl. But yeah, I, I told her I want a small one at home. It relaxes me, and I like it. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. So good good massage. So you want some? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So y'all, good. y'all help them out. I want. Tell them um, where to get it from. Okay, fine. Okay. okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so let them know. Yeah, what you want? Um, I want to pay, pay for a plane ticket. You gonna be so extra all the time, but go ahead. Um, I want to pay for a plane ticket. <laughs> I want to pay for a plane ticket to California, mm, and yes. and I want a um a uh, um a gift card to get a Yanni steam. I want to do that. Yeah, yeah we're supposed to be doing, it, be doing it for June. I thought you were gonna do that. No, I, I want I want one for this one. Tell you I want one for Mother's Day. I want it for four things. I want to experience it for four things. Mm. Okay, but we need to get that. Well, well, I we I spoke on it and said I out for June would be there. Yeah, I I told you about that and yeah, you you ignored that. I, okay, so we do the yarn thing. They have so the one and everything. We can get the, we can get the one. We can get the girl, with the, hooker, the girls, and the uh-huh. wine. It's called the girls' day. Yeah, the girl. Well, it's called girls' night because you go in the evening. I think. So yeah, I want to do that, and I want to have a, a Mother's Day picnic, and I want to I want to get on a boat oh. Sunday. Oh, you, you do. So what, are you? Oh, okay. Oh, that's. You're so different. I like that vibe. Cool. No one like that. <laughs> <laughs> I only sit out at a duck and stuff in a boat ride. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be warm. It's gonna be warm. It's yeah. gonna be nice. Sunday is gonna probably be the nicest day of this week. I should take, to end I off should the day. take off it's gonna Monday. Be nice. I always want to take off. They be laughing me at work. Yeah, you probably need to take off Sunday. Monday. But yeah, if, I mean Monday. So um. Okay, here we go another extra like one. Go ahead. Think. One of the same things. He was ooh and yeah, ah. All of that sounds good. Like I want mine. Massage. I love yeah. foot massage all the time. I can get that every day. Mm-hmm. And I can just bring the person home with me. That part. Do it every day. Mm-hmm. Wonderful. Oh. I think I'm going to treat myself um, to that. Let me honest, y'all. I, I haven't thought about it because I didn't realize it was Sunday. <laughs> 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 but someone paying for my flight to um L.A. would be great. Because I was looking for flights the other day, so that was good. Um, that Yanni thing, that would be good. Mm-hmm. Londa had a good idea. So if I but we're doing rocks, that Yanni thing in June, y'all. If I mix rocks and pints together, <laughs> I got me a good present. Yeah, yeah. you want to get on a boat Sunday, too. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, I can go get on a boat Sunday, yeah. But um, be honest, everybody, I, I didn't realize it was Sunday, so I haven't even thought about anything. I haven't thought about nothing. Mm. Okay. Right, because I was like, I didn't even well, I could, I could, somebody could get my nails done too. Oh, yeah, Is that thing okay? You have two on this end. You ain't fight. two on this end. What happened? What happened? If somebody could just get what my nails done. I, I was done. looking at them, the but I won't put Y'all can be so nice if y'all want to. That's what you need to do. And cash out. I won't put you on blast. What happens, Sting? What happened? Okay, this is what happens when 
you do a lot when you do too much. And did you grab somebody up? I did not. Oh, okay. What I did you not. Mean? Well, at least that thumb still stand though. Both of your thumbs still. Londa, oh my God. Yeah, you good. cannot they ain't like get on you. nobody's playing a boat like that. So you need to start with this first, then work up towards the plane. Look like don't nobody care about me. Yeah, cause you looking. No, I was gonna ask after the show, but like we said, we 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 putting everything out there. I mean, yeah. Miss Go Get It said it out there. She was like, "What's at going on?" At least my feet look good. Mm. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. But I will. Well, maybe I you put your hands like, in your pockets. <laughs> look at my ass. Don't like I had nothing. Don't like I had nothing. No, they so little. So that's what y'all want, and I hope that the viewers hear it or our children or. Are they gonna um cash up us? So gonna get us a cash out? Um, I don't know. So they don't know your cash out. Like, and the young lady said that to y'all. How does it make you feel? We was kind of like stuck. We were shocked. <laughs> you yeah. know, both of us, this is, do, hold on. First of all, Shine say she like bald head. Yes, she just be like, <gasps> huh? I said, you know, I was stuck. Mm. Yeah, she I was stuck. stuck. And mm -hmm. then I think it made her stuck because she looked at me for a response and she didn't get the response. She wasn't. I'm looking like, oh. So y'all need to be there for y'all. Y'all need to be there for y'all sport person. Yeah, no, Rock would have just. Oh, but, oh my God. She would have she she blew it. She would have yeah. overdid it. No, it was I, like, I, I oh, been me. thank you so yeah, much. She was like, thank yeah. you. She was like, oh my God. She got me on podcast. And then she did say, y'all doing good things. Y'all mm -hmm. are doing good things. She did. I mm -hmm. love it. I just love it. But we both was like. And then the guy she was with, he was just smiling so hard. Like he was watching it too. I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. I'm weak. It, it did feel, you know, good. But she Wait again, man. I, I, I wish our billboard was about to have rise so I could look at it every day. I wish we had a card with us last night passes. so that she could follow us on the rest of the um, rest of the sites as we well. We need a little tap card. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I want the billboard to be crossed by the high rise. Oh, yeah. I was looking at that. Um, yeah, they got some silly stuff up right now. Yeah, that Where? Not the high rise. Yeah. This is boring. What high rise? Coming to the Yeah. We should be right there. Okay. Yeah. We can make that happen. Oh, we, we can. Just, we just okay. All, okay. Fine. <laughs> we gotta all bit it in words. I think. I think we can get there. We're gonna get there. And I also want to be. We should at, put. We should put a, a picture from the party on the billboard. Yeah. Yeah. What well, up? Like, take another picture. Oh, another picture. No, cause you barely missed. You. You barely made it. <laughs> We're not even gonna talk about that old stuff, honey. We're we talking about everything right now. Because. Because. They changed the time, and I and I was a little late. That's why I want. And that's why Terrell would take the picture with me. Well, and they actually told me they changed the time earlier. No, they told me it was an earlier time, no. so that I could yeah, be on time. time. No, they changed the time they for told me. me. I told, was like, so I said we late. She told me no when we got in the no, car. No, it told me keep my makeup early. appointment. It should told me change my makeup appointment. It was just too much. Anyway, we're not talking about that. We're not. We're not. No, yeah, because you always late. Playing hat. No, I can tell you a different time. Mm, okay, so <laughs> next topic. All I had looked rough a little bit too, but that's all right. Yeah, we still kids. I ain't getting my hair done tomorrow. I ain't getting my roots done tomorrow. Shout out to my girl. Old people. I, need that, I need someone to do my hair. So how have y'all week been so far though? Have y'all been having a trying week or? I have, um, and yeah. I push. Yes, I have. But baby, baby girl, I protect this energy so good. I feel good. <coughs> that's, what, yeah. that's right. That's all. It's all about protection. Protect and you your have energy. To, mm -hmm. Yeah. All that negative stuff. All that ugly, yucky stuff. Ooh, wait a minute. Move. Yeah. Just move like that. Just My move like that. Just stressful. keep moving. I wish I could do that. I wish I could. I wish I could just. Remove it gets easier each day. Them. Each day get easier. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mine was a little stressful, but it well, wasn't was wrong. Bad. It wasn't just bad overwhelming. Stress. Yeah, I just have a lot that I have to do. It's like I'm doing this, I'm doing that. It's, it's sometimes it's just sometimes it's overwhelming. Where I just want to just lay down and play my game on my phone and watch TV. Mm -hmm. That's how I felt. Um, what day we went and met with the um, you was overwhelming. Lady. Oh, you was overwhelmed, Gam. Yeah. Oh yeah, I was so overwhelmed. I left the um. Is it as, is it because of what she was saying, or yeah, and you just got a different so feeling? It's it it a lot it to take in. Yeah, it, it, yeah, it was, it was. Along yeah. with the goosebumps and all the. Yeah, we ran, we ran in. We, we, we going all the way up. <laughs> all the way up. Exactly. 
and 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 he will. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be a lot of oohs and ahs. We signed that joint, Shantae. Mm-hmm. Huh? We just signed that Shantae. We said, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Say it again. So mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mm. She just asked you something. You didn't hear her. Yeah, she is. Oh, what she? What you asked? Did she have a, a thorn this week? So what was the thorn? What the thorn mean again? Something bad. <laughs> <laughs> a thorn is something that pokey, like so something mm. bad. Oh, something bad to happen. Mm. Or overwhelming. Um. Something well, not, we, we sound like we tired and stuff. I am a little tired. Yeah. So, I mean, I think I did. I mean, I don't know. I don't even know if I want to share it because it's You don't not, have... Well, we ain't actually share it. Share it. Yeah. It's yeah, it's just... It ain't even a personal. It's just... I get tired of repeating myself. Y'all just been so tired of repeating yourself over and over and over again. Yeah. And it make you feel like you crazy. Oh. Yeah. That's true. That's me at so work. Who was your rose? Did you have a rose? Did you have a rose? Mm-hmm. Oh. Were you happy? I mean, you had something good happen? Um. Did you have a rose? Did you have a rose? A rose. Did I have a rose? Yes. Every day. This week, I had a rose. Every day. I woke up. I was breathing. I mean, that's right. So that was my role. So let me ask y'all this, since y'all so tired of the last night. Have y'all yeah. heard anything going on? Y'all heard a story about Shekana and Tiny? No, oh, what? Yes, on the break. What's what? going on? I'm confused because I, mean, I, I, I caught the ending of it. Basically, what it is, it's just a, a friendship. And, you know, Shekana felt like, well, feels like um, Tiny really wasn't her friend. You know, when the, when the story came out about... Tia yeah, and Tiny with all this right. and stuff. Uh-uh. You know, um, Shekana went live. Right. Come to find out when she went live, um, Tiny was right there with her, coaching her. And what was she saying? So she was just really ta- she was basically taking up for them and stuff or whatever. Okay. But yeah. in the process of her taking up for them, the media, of course, came for her. So when they came for her, it was like they ain't Tiny support. turned on her. You know, like she just straight turned on her, you know, and she felt like she put her out to the wolves. So she, she kind of feels like their relationship is one-sided. And I even commented up there. I was like, yeah, she's going to rock with T.I. Like, no matter what. Well, they, why they even had her do it from the beginning? Because they were, they, they were really kind of like exploring her, really. Trying to make her, you know... It's, it's crazy, but basically, what so Shakana is now saying that Tiny was there with her when she, yeah, was yeah. Well, yeah, she she said that she said mm-hmm. in the interview that um, mm-hmm. she was there. Of mm-hmm. course, Tiny is denying it, but a blogger um, really made you listen to this certain point in the, in the um, live that Shakana did a couple of months ago, mm-hmm. Months mm-hmm. Or so ago, and you can hear Tiny in the background talking. Wow. So basically, I saw that live, but I Basically, the media they they they, they, t- they attacked her, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. What it was saying yeah. that they was going against what she was saying. Yeah, it was basically saying, you know, she like I said, she was cheering, she was telling her what to say, and of course, people had something to say, you know, against it. So in the process of doing that, they were just dragging her, and you know, she didn't come to her defense. But I feel like, yo, if she's coming to your defense for something that you're doing. Why y'all ain't cutting her? her? Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And she was just saying, you know how she's not a she's not a she's not a friend. And I want to ask y'all, like, have y'all been in a situation like that <laughs> or have a friendship that it was like one side? Yeah. And like, how how, how did you handle it? Well, for me, mm. no, I can't think of. Well, no, I haven't <laughs> had it. No. I, I have family ships like that. I have family ships like that more than yeah. friendships. Um. I wouldn't say my friendships are one sided. No more. I have had one. Yeah, I have, got, I, I have cleaned up the friendship thing because yeah. I have. Yeah, effects. everybody ain't your friend. And then you start yeah. seeing things or the reasons you should have been cut the person off. And once you do, it's like a relief. Like, the main point is protect your energy. Right. That's true. Yeah. I feel the same way about relationships as well, though. Yeah. Not just it family ships. Anything. And, yeah, all anything. situationships, all everything. Um, I just feel like that in a relationship, I feel like it's, it's who 
Ooh. I think if in a relationship and it's one sided, I think it's more serious than even in a friendship. Me too. Because if you're in a relationship that's one sided and you with this person, mm -hmm. you know, you looking at this person with a little bit more higher standards than you would your friends because this is the person that you're with and mm -hmm. you know, whatever. But I think if you're in a one sided relationship, it's like when you it's always a little bit more draining because it's like very you draining. Figure out how you gonna cut off your relationship? But mm -hmm. the part that really be draining, and you you, you it, be the one that have to be the bigger person all the time. Yeah, that part right. is draining I on like that. But also Sometimes. when you know the friendship dead, when you when yeah. when you only want to clear shit up. Yeah, cause they got the own they got these own little voices and their own little version in their head. You only want to clear it up. Yeah. So that part is revy, revy, revy. Make me feel good because I'm to the point now, I'm tired of being nice. I'm tired of being the bigger person. And I ain't cleaning nothing up. Nope, think what you want to think. Because when I look back at stuff, I should have been cut some stuff off. Ooh, yeah. yeah. But I think every, every, yeah. everything has a season. You know, and sometimes season, yep. they cut them off, you know, too early. You know, or because yeah. we're feeling a certain type of way personally that, personally mm -hmm. that day that we may cut them off too short. So sometimes you got to let stuff run its course. That part, Travell. That right. part. Say it again. Right. Sometimes you gotta do what? Let them run school. Let it run school. Yeah, yeah, that part. Some people hand themselves the station when it's their yeah. stop. Right. Let them know. Hmm. They be doing what? Hand themselves the scissors. Hand themselves the scissors. That's I how I tell people. Cut off. Like, like feel you, good. You, you bite the hand that feeds you, and I ain't talking about food. Right. Like, don't bite the hand that feeds you. Don't. I, Turn against the people that was there for you, even when some of your family members won't. That part, right. you know what I'm saying. And I get so tired. I mean, for real, y'all, I'm so nice. I be, I be wanting to be a little ratchet. Sometimes I'm tired of being misunderstood. I'm tired of being a bigger person. Like, I'm tired. But sometimes yeah. you get tired of being. Tired. I do. You get tired of being a bigger that's person. When you, like, just let it explode. Yeah, I feel you. It runs its course, mm -hmm. and I feel good. Keep it moving. Right. And exactly. I feel like you, you, you hurt yourself more when you continue to just. Dabbling in it, yeah. You, you dabbling in it, you dabbling you in do. it, and you hurt yourself more well, in hopes that oh, it's gonna change. Yeah. That get part, better. I don't know. I'm gonna ignore just, it, but then you get to the point where you just can't ignore it. But y'all had all the points that she the rock need to hear tonight. But, but y'all, <laughs> y'all have no to, idea. Um, you get to what point do you decide? Okay, let me go ahead on and just cut it off now. You know, because when the disrespect hits. And when people say stuff that they really, when they sober, we know how sometimes mm -hmm. people be drunk and say this stuff. But when they say it sober, mm -hmm. and, and, and they and they they hit you hard with the stuff they say, mm -hmm. the disrespect and the hurting the feelings. Sometimes people need to hear that. That's how you know like it's dead. Like ain't no coming back. And that's how you know yeah. you you you, you, you meant that. that. You right. meant that. You meant that. You meant that. Cause you said it sober. Mm -hmm. You meant that. So mm -hmm. now let me let me ask you this. Now when you say it's dead, at that point when it's dead, do you feel What you mean? Like, meaning, whatever they're saying to you, does it does it hurt you? Does it affect you if it's dead? Because I feel like if something is dead, it doesn't prick me. But that's just me. So I want to know from you, if you're saying that a situation of friendship is dead. How it's not coming back, but it's, if it's a conversation that needs to take place. I'm the type of person, I don't mind having that conversation. And I don't mind something about apology. But it'll never. And I don't, like, I don't even like to use the word never. Cause they say never say never, but it, their friendship will never be the same. Yeah. I, I don't have no bad blood with nobody. I never dog nobody, but it will never be the same. It never be. The, it won't ever so be the same. So when you say it would never never be the same, is that meaning you would go back to trying no. it again? No. But it just won't be on the same. No. Level? It'll be. Mm -hmm. It'll be. Hey, how you doing? Keep it moving. Being cordial, oh, okay. be respectful. Cordial. Well, I don't so do. Really I don't do no picking no way. But it won't be none of that. So it won't be no relationship. No basically. sir. No ma'am. No ma'am. No ma'am. <laughs> yeah, no. that's that's. I feel the same way. But I just yeah. feel like once, once, I I have a hard time of. Um, separating myself from situations. I don't know how to just let it go. I'll just sit around and sit around and sit around. But I'll I tell you it. one thing. Once I wobble in it, to, I can't take no more once it's gone. It's gone. Yeah, it, it, it disgusts yeah. me to the point where mm -hmm. I don't even ever yeah. want to even And then look all things come to you at it again. Piece, we be like, I should have been left alone. I should have been left it alone. Because yep. the minute you leave something that's really toxic and weighing you down, mm -hmm. the next day, 
That is a true saying. You done got a Fear degree. Better. You done bought a house. Fear you done put money down on a new deal. And, and uh, let me and business. let me let me pick you it back up. You done got all this. All your blessings. And all, all your blessings just start flowing yeah. in. And you like that was holding me back the whole entire time. But and me, you be knowing, but you mm, just can't let go. It's each like day I got get attachment better. issues. I got attachment issues like a month. Each day get better. Woo. And, mm-hmm. and it's yeah. sad because some people really they really dislike you because how other people love you. Can't nobody change who you are, your personality. I'm always gonna, I'm always gonna be shit around. Had this natural hair. You better. And everywhere I go, I make new friends. You can't change. Who and you people are. like, oh my god, they like my spirit. Mm-hmm. So I ain't changing that. But yeah, be mindful of the people that hate the way somebody else love you. That shit is toxic. Mm. You ain't never lied about that, girl. But I feel good. Mm. I you wobbled in good. it. I wobbled in it for a few days, but I'm alright. It hurt you? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I'd be laughing if I said it didn't. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. That's what I'm saying. Y'all hit something that y'all ain't have no idea about nothing. It just See, happened so this week. T- t- when you let stuff go, it don't hurt you. You don't, we don't wobble in it. You just, you no. have your mind made up. You can just let yeah, something no, go just like that. I have my mind made up when I'm, when I say I'm tired or I'm just fed up. Once I let my mind go because I didn't already checked out, but usually I didn't already checked out anyway. So once I'm checked out, it's a wrap for That's, me. That part. Mentally, I'm already going anyway. So the physical part and all that, it didn't matter because the mental was already gone anyway. Mm-hmm. No, you lying. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So That's why I wish I just that, had that. I would, I don't have the ability to, I guess to just check different. out mm, in different. that moment. Just oh, right yeah, there. Check out. Just check out. It's like, okay, mm-hmm. whatever. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. it really just be like, just going with the motion till... You get to that next train stop so you can open the door and let them off. I like how Pint said, when you let that let it go, each day get better. That's in the, yeah. decree, the degree come, the house, the job. Yeah, all your the blessings job, yeah. in. All your, yeah. all your blessings right. come, you let that because, toxic you know, stuff go. Some people can be in your life and they can hold up the Weigh blessings. Weigh it down. They can. they can hold up your blessings that's there waiting for you. Mm-hmm. But you, everybody's just not meant to go. That's right. With you to your blessings. So that next stop, everybody's just not meant to be on that train for that next stop. And once you release what's weighing you down, mm-hmm. it do open up the doors for your blessings to start flowing in. But you know, at the same time, too, we can't put everything on them. We got to take accountability. For right, them. you do. Because if we know that, <clears throat> just like what Pine is saying, she knows she dabbles in it mm-hmm. and wobbles mm-hmm. in it. Right. At some point, if you, if somebody doing something to you or you know a situation or whatever is toxic, why do you keep putting your feet in that quicksand every single time? Mm-hmm. That's why I say I have a, I have attachment issues. I know, man. We so busy trying to. Make, I hard. We love hard. I right? have attachment we issues with my friends, and with you, my family members, and with my relationship, my lover. That part. I have. Let's go get them. Sometimes mm-hmm. you hope it get better, and you love mm-hmm. hard. Mm-hmm. So you go hard. You your loyalty. Mm-hmm. Your loyalty speaks. Yep. Oh my God, my loyalty is real. It's not fake. Yep. And and, and your loyalty is so big, mm-hmm. and you and you and you ain't fake about it. You you be wanting it to get better, you know what I'm saying? Or right, you but, but loyalty loyalty starts with you, and it you gotta does. Be loyal to yourself before right. you can somebody else. That's just like you gotta love true. yourself before you can properly love somebody else. So that's what you're saying is, if I don't love myself, ain't no way in the hell I love somebody else. Right. <laughs> that's oh, that's true. A little lust mm. Yeah, it could be lust, or it could be that's the reason why mm. you have the issues and why you stay. But anywho, so it's almost time for us to get up out of here. But again, those tickets. Tell them about it again, Pint. Okay, y'all get those tickets. Those tickets for this all black tie affair. Again, it's fully formal. It's not semi-formal. You cannot come in there with a suit on. You cannot come in there with your church's dress on and stuff like that. With the little, I don't know what you call them, the hats and kernel. It is fully formal, meaning no semi-formal. You cannot come in there with your Sunday's best on. You mean like these Sunday's dresses and your your casual clothes that you wear on the interview, do not wear that to this black tie affair. It is fully formal. So when you say, when I say fully formal, I mean a good ball dress. I mean a good prom dress. Anything nice, sexy, black. Go check it out. Go go check it out right now. Just look up. All you gotta do is Google black tie affair. Attire, black tie attire, and it's gonna pop up with a whole bunch of nice stuff for y'all, guys. You cannot wear any type of athletic wear. Um, 
you have to have again tuxedos and you have to have on your dress shoes if, if they tap at the bottom you can clap, clap them on the floor you know that that's the right shoe <laughs> It's crazy. Yes. <laughs> so make sure that y'all get these tickets again for general admission is $75 and for unlimited alcohol. We're not talking to aristocrat. That's going to be 110 And that wristband is only for you. It is not for your cousin, your friend, your baby mama, or her friends. Excuse me? About the Beijing. Oh, please, please, please. I know this is this is so important, and I'm not trying to be funny when I say it. I said it the first time, and I, I, I really meant it. A lot of y'all probably took it as if I was joking. I was not. You know how you go to the barbershop, and the barbershop spray a little, dye your hair, put the Beijing on the sides, because you know a lot of y'all sides are pushed back. I mean, you get old, and it pushes back, and you don't want to let your hair go. So you go, and you dye your edges. Well, you know that most of y'all are not going to go and purchase a tuxedo. I'm sure you will rent one. And if you rent one, you know you have to take it back in the same way it was left. Maybe with a little, you know, smell good cologne on it or something. But other than that, no, y'all cannot pit that on those people's clothes. Please do not come in there with y'all. You know, you get the drinking and you get the sweating. Get and and sweating and drinking on mist. And then that black stuff you rolling. <laughs> Don't do that to y'all self. Wait. Don't do that to yourself. So please keep in mind to make sure that if you get your hair dyed, please get it dyed and wash a couple times before you come to the black Not tie fair. So the, oh, the um, black dye won't be running. Um, mm. Oh, but and but what they can do, like no, you can't come in with your sneakers. But you know how us ladies do after about a couple of drinks and maybe by an hour two. You put on your slides or whatever, your sandals. Mm -hmm. You can't, you know, you just can't walk in the like little that bag. And, right. You know, wait till, you know, by the time the middle of the night, mm -hmm. you know, you can have your little sneakers your to footy, change your in little footy, or your right. slides or whatever. Right. Just bring them with you. Put them in the car mm -hmm. or have a little bag, little, you know, right. you can put on your arm, ladies, with your little slides or whatever in. You can sit up that under part. the table. Okay, hour two kicking in, mm -hmm. your feet hurting. Well, my mine's hurt when I walk in, so yeah, mine's mm -hmm. probably about Me fifteen too. minutes. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah. So you are gonna mm -hmm. take your shoes off and put some slides on? Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Cause I don't, I don't want bare feet. So yeah, right, that's right. I'm definitely gonna. Have and please, uh, please, she just said she do not walk barefooted, and understand that when you take off your shoes, please, ladies, make sure that y'all have some slats, some type of slats. It could be a house shoe, it could be a mitten shoe, it could be the one to sock, it could be just the stocking of the dress. But make sure you have something on instead of barefooted, because you know when you're in a ball and you're in a black tie fair and stuff like that, you know things happen. People sweat, and you know how the water. The gets floor. the the floor gets a little watery and stuff like that. We do not want to be kicking up mud, making mud in the middle of the people's floor. <laughs> you know what? So <laughs> thank y'all for tuning in. Please, please, please. <laughs> yeah, wrap it up. But we want you guys to um for the podcast of the year and show of the year yes. on ECY TV. You guys have really, really um been voting for us and we definitely appreciate it. We want you to keep voting. Voting ends on the 15th of May. Um, the awards is actually in August. But in the meantime, go on Pandora, um, Powered by Virginia Radio, TV, Blackjack TV. We, we have um, another one coming soon, don't we? Uh, yeah, just wherever you can see, see your hit wave damn minute, we're there. Um, mm -hmm. And we thank you guys for the continued support. And with that being said, ladies, do y'all have anything else to say before we wrap it up? Hit up Wait Again Minute inbox a DM for your tickets. Do, do not go to Eventbrite. Tickets have been taken off of the Eventbrite. You have to hit up the DM. Or hit up one of us and we or will make sure you get, get your ticket. Pint or rock, or you can hit up Miss Adderwild. Thanks so for tuning in. At all times, protect your energy. Good night. Peace. Good night. Good night.